Hey guys, I uh, finished up whitening some of the squirrel that was in there. This is the bottom jaw. Um, I didn't show you guys this in the previous video because I left it upstairs. But this is what your finished product is going to look like. Uh, this is with just the peroxide on it. You can, some people paint it in Elmer's glue. They like the finish. You can spray it with whatever. Some people spray it with gold spray paint or uh, metallic chrome um, put a clear varnish on it but this is pretty much your finished product uh, the peroxide volume 40 it's, it leaves this nice yellow on the tooth of a lot of your rodents are going to have this yellow but it takes away any stains in the teeth sometimes your teeth are going to have a lot of stains or blood from when you shot it but uh, those beetles get in all those little spaces, the acetone takes off all the grease and the peroxide just gets rid of everything else except for this nice yellow color which can also sometimes bleed out if you boil it too long. Yeah I know you guys can boil these skulls if you want but you're gonna hear me dissing it a lot because it your product isn't gonna be as good. Also wanted to show you guys I just picked up a few pieces of this woolly mammoth ivory from the local jeweler in town and he's always got stuff behind the counter like this so whenever I pop in he's always got something cool uh, I'm gonna have one of my friends do some scrimshaw on it probably gonna be like a quilt with a nice background and we'll mount it on a walnut base but yeah this stuff is at least 10,000 years old from Alaska so it's pretty cool that I found that and um, I will put some pictures in a slideshow video probably of all of these when they're done so I'll see you guys later